lot of people uh, don't understand why you like Slughorn so much. I fell in love with him when he gave the speech at Aragog's funeral, and there was something inside me that just just melted, and I I was in love. It's it's strong. It's it's deep. It's fierce. Does he give back to you in the same magnitude that you love him? He doesn't have to give me anything. He just has to be who he is, and that's enough. And and what's what's your dream for you and Slughorn? I would love to go to the, the tropics with him, um, to some nice resort where we could sit in the sun and have drinks, fruit drinks with parasols in them. And... Between a walk on a beach or a candlelit dinner, what would you prefer? Well, I think because he's kind of fat and wheezy, we'd better go with the candlelight dinner. <laughs> I think I'd want him to, to be comfortable. Do, do you see yourself adventuring with Slughorn? This is a man who told Voldemort in his pajamas. He is an adventurer, you know? What's your greatest uh, offering to Slughorn? My heart. Do you see a, a, a long relationship for the two of you? As long as my heart beats, I will be in love with Horace Slughorn. What would you like Horace to know most um, about you, about well, your feelings? I think Horace knows. What's the funniest thing he's ever said to you? Come here, bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> Does he ever brew up potions for you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to share? I would duel to the death to defend my beloved Horace. Yeah. I'd take an AK curse right in the ass for him. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think people don't get it? I don't know, because they haven't ever had that magic, that moment, that connection that defines a woman and connects her with a fictional character. Yeah.